you're going to be like God, you're going to have to be forgiving. Bienvenidos a una nueva actualización sobre el ministerio del Pastor MacArthur, quien les habla, Claudio, desde Argentina. Este domingo que ha pasado, el primer domingo del mes de junio 2022, lo primero que vamos a ver es la subida de MacArthur al púlpito para compartir la palabra de Dios junto con la iglesia. Vamos a ver entonces la palabra que compartió MacArthur y tiene que ver, va conectado al sermón de MacArthur. Veamos. Let's stand together for the reading of the Word of God. And this morning, I want to read 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 through chapter 5, verse 3. And this will connect very well with the message to come a little bit later. 1 John chapter 4, beginning at verse 7, reading from the Legacy Standard Bible. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God, because God is love. By this the love of God was manifested in us, that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through Him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has beheld God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us and His love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in Him and He in us because He has given us of His Spirit. We have beheld and bear witness that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. And we have come to know and have believed the love which God has in us. God is love, and the one who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. By this, love has been perfected with us so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, because as He is, so also are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves punishment, and the one who fears is not perfected in love. We love because He first loved us. If someone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that the one who loves God should love his brother also. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the one who gives new birth loves also the one who has been born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and do His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. This is the Word of God. Let's bow together in prayer. Y sobre la predicación de MacArthur, MacArthur continuó su estudio allí en el libro de Efesios en el capítulo 5, versos 1 al 7, titulado como Camina en Amor. El versículo 1 de Efesios 5 dice, Sed pues imitadores de Dios como hijos amados. Como hijos de Dios que hemos sido perdonados en Cristo Jesús, ahora tenemos la capacidad de imitar a Dios. La pregunta es cómo, de una manera particular, dice MacArthur, y es caminar en amor. Así comenzó MacArthur su sermón, el llamado del cristiano a caminar en amor. El punto es Efesios 4.32 Antes sed benignos unos con otros, misericordiosos, perdonándonos unos a otros como Dios también os perdonó a vosotros en Cristo. Así que este amor, atención, tiene que ver con el perdón. 
Por eso, veamos un momento lo que dijo MacArthur al comienzo de su sermón sobre el versículo 1 de Efesios 5. You can imitate God in the sense that your love is at its highest point a forgiving love. I want you to connect that love with the reality of forgiveness. If you're going to be like God, you're going to have to be forgiving. Full of mercy, full of grace, full of compassion, full of forgiveness. Así que este amor que nos habla el apóstol Pablo allí en Efesios 5, versículo 1, tiene que ver con el amor sacrificial, ese amor agape. Veamos cómo MacArthur aclara nuevamente sobre este amor que leemos allí en el verso 1 de Efesios 5. Can't mimic God in those incommunicable attributes that belong only to him as the eternally existent one, but we are called here to mimic God, to pattern our lives after God in the realm of sacrificial forgiveness. God is love, and that love foundationally is brought to us in the matter of forgiveness. All other expressions of his love proceed out of that forgiveness. MacArthur dijo que este amor sacrificial vemos también en los primeros cuatro capítulos, en especial los primeros tres capítulos de Efesios. Por tanto, este amor del cual habla Pablo allí en Efesios 5.1 es fácil de entender si leemos el siguiente versículo. Y este perdón no es un amor fácil por decir, por ejemplo, el de amar hacia alguien cercano emocionalmente, sino que este perdón tiene tiene que ver con amar incluso a nuestros enemigos como leemos del propio Señor Jesús allí en Mateo 5 versículos 38 al 48 el Señor es claro por eso para finalizar este video veamos cómo MacArthur una vez más aclara cuál es el punto del apóstol Pablo allí en Efesios capítulo 5 verso 1 The point is simple. You can't love like God unless you are marked by forgiveness. Para escuchar los sermones completos del pastor John MacArthur tiene que visitar en inglés gti.org y en español gracia.org con la voz en español del pastor Luis Contreras.